Hey guys, it's Yuval here and in this video I want to break down how I shot this Nike spec commercial. I'm gonna touch on the lighting, cinematography, gear, all of that good stuff. But first let's watch the full commercial so you can see the final result and then we'll break everything down. The beginning of any journey is full of questions. Where do I want to go? What's the fastest way to get there? I came to learn the goals we reach are determined by the habits we make. Along the way, I slowed down on asking everybody else and started to focus on myself. Some watch their stories unfold, others write it. When it's hard, and it will be, that's the time to keep going. Set yourself a challenge, beat it. Set yourself another one, beat that. And you'll see the answers aren't out there. You got them. Just don't forget to ask yourself. So just a quick disclaimer, this is not an actual paid Nike commercial. This is a project I decided to do for free without Nike actually asking me to do so. And let's get a little bit into why I chose to do that. So for the longest time, I wanted to create a Nike commercial, an athlete commercial, something that has to do with sports, um, Adidas, Nike, uh, running, football, um, all of those kind of commercials. I really wanted one in my portfolio and I didn't have one. And obviously no one would actually hire me to create this kind of project because I never shot a project like this. Sure, I have other projects that I've shot that maybe look good, but that's not enough to get you hired to do um, something like that. If you don't have something that's really close to that style, really in the same genres, no one's gonna hire you just because you have other work that looks good outside of that niche. So that's pretty much reason number one why I decided to take on this project for free. And the second reason is really that I feel that passion projects are really an amazing place to express yourself and really bring your creative vision to life without any stress, without any obstacles. It's just you doing your thing, your style. You happy? And basically you have full creative control which is amazing because um, first of all it's really fun uh, but second of all you get to again to just bring yourself into the project it's fully yours and that way you can showcase the kind of work that you want to get hired to do so now that i have this project in my portfolio and by the way like no one has to know that it's a spec commercial um, but anyways uh, now that i have it in my portfolio Clients can see that work and then hire me to do something similar. So that's why I chose to create this passion project. And honestly, I think everyone at any level should be doing passion projects, whether you're just starting out, or especially if you're just starting out, but also if you already shot for a few years or even if you're like at the top level of filmmaking, um, still, I think it's something that could really benefit you. So me and my good friend and really talented cinematographer Talis Clark decided to take on this project together because obviously it's more fun creating with friends. We're here to shoot a Nike spec ad. And it also helps to have another creative person just sharing ideas um, back and forth. So I was really glad Talis was on board. What's this guy doing here? Me? I don't know, ask him. And then we found Ivan, who's an amazing athlete, sprinter, uh, personal coach, and he ended up being our model for this project. Super fit guy, the fittest guy I know. I really wanted this project to be like super organized, have a very defined shot list and all of that. But to be honest, it ended up being a lot of improvising. We were all very busy and didn't really have the time, especially since it was a free project. Um, so we didn't really have the time to plan everything as we would uh, for a real commercial. But we did have a rough idea and we knew the locations that we were going to. And from there on, it was just improvising, being in the moment, getting creative. And it's also the most fun, I feel, because you get to experiment a lot. And it's, it's kind of like a creative process where things just come up um, to your mind and you just go with it, you go with the flow, um, you try things. And that's also where you learn a lot. So being in a moment, being creative, um, that's a process that I really enjoy. So now let's talk a little bit about the gear we used for this shoot. Um, because it was free and it was all from our personal time and money, um, we didn't really have a budget. So we couldn't really rent things out. 
maybe just a few things. So we used pretty much our own gear and we shot on the GH5, which is uh, the camera I was shooting on. And then we also shot on the Panasonic S1H. Um, Talis was shooting on that camera and with the S1H we had the Sigma R24-70 which gave us a pretty sharp nice looking image but on the GH5 I think it was a little bit more interesting. I used my vintage anamorphic projection lens paired with the Helios 44 which gave me a true 2x stretch and a really soft and filmic look and I'll probably make a separate video later on just on this lens setup. So the GH5 really gave us a completely different look and I wasn't sure if mixing shots from these two setups would actually uh, work in the edit since they give very different looks. But in the end I think it worked out quite well and since we shot vlog on both cameras it helped me match them easier when I was color grading and I think it ended up looking quite well. So now let's get into the actual locations and sets and break down the lighting and the cinematography on that. So our first location was this Olympic Stadium. Uh, we had the sprinting tracks over there and we chose to shoot everything on natural light um, pretty much because we didn't really have the budget to set up big lights. We didn't have the crew, the manpower um, and we didn't have the gear to do that. So we decided to just lean on the um, natural light that was available. And of course we made sure to arrive early on so we get the best light because later on the day when the sun is um, higher up in the sky you get very harsh and ugly light. So we did make sure we were there when the light was uh, the best which was early morning and we also tried to shoot as much as we could um, on the shadow side which is a great tip for uh, well basically anything that you shoot but especially if you're going uh, for that daylight natural light shooting on the shadow side is really going to look way better than shooting um, on the other side it's what's going to give you the best um, cinematic and the most depth in your image we took some shots of Ivan warming up and preparing for the sprint as well as doing some exercises and also a few hero type shots looking into the camera, watching the tracks from the stands and so on. We also made sure we got enough shots uh, with the Nike logo in them. Um, that's really important when you're creating a Nike commercial, obviously. And we were shooting the majority of these shots on 24 frames per second, 180 degree shutter angle to get that natural motion blur and that um, yeah, just natural cinematic look. Our second location was this small gym we managed to get access for uh, for free. And it wasn't the most glorious of gyms, but we knew that with the right lighting we could pretty much hide uh, what's actually going on there and make it look better than it actually is. It's a place when you walk into it and you're not really sure what to do or where to go because it's a bit ugly, but we need to make it beautiful. We knew that a dark contrasty look will probably work in our favor. It will not only look good, but it will also help hide all of the ugliness of the gym. So what we did is we turned off all of the lights that were practical um, in the gym and then we rigged our own lights. We rigged two nanolite tubes to the ceiling um, using these clamps. I'm not really sure what they're called in English, um, but anyways, they just help you um, kind of mount the tubes uh, on the ceiling. We had one of the tubes set to a red color and the other to blue, and that gave us a nice color contrast. And these tubes are really amazing. I use them on almost any shoot that I have. Um, they're so easy to use. They're very practical and very versatile and Nanlight actually sent these out to me uh, for free which was really nice of them. I'm not sponsored or like obligated to say anything um, but it's just a really really good product that I honestly take with me to any set and I use them all the time so I highly recommend them. Um, there's links down in the description below if you want to check those out. To piece the whole look together and create that atmosphere uh, we used the haze machine and that made a really big difference and the haze is another one of these things that I make sure I have on almost any set. It easily brings up the whole production value um, instantly and if you never used the haze machine before, um, trust me, rent one on your next shoot and you'll see how much of a difference it makes. So this is pretty much all that we had for this setup. It only took a few minutes to set up and it really gave us that dark contrasty look. Um, that I think worked really well together with uh, the other location that we had. And yeah, it was really simple, only took a few minutes. 
and for the color grading i wanted to give the footage a 16 millimeter film kind of vibe so i used the film print emulation some grain um, some halation um, and a bunch of few other nodes uh, it was all done in davinci resolve and i might make a video on that later um, let me know if you guys are interested So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this video and this Nike commercial. And the next time you guys feel like you want to create something, you want to have something in your portfolio, or maybe you just want to do something for fun, um, don't just wait around. Go out and like actively pursue that thing. Go create it. Uh, even if no one asks you to do it, go create that Adidas commercial, that Nike commercial, whatever. Just go out there and create that's the message of this video because nothing is going to get done by just waiting around like that's not gonna get you anywhere it's all about doing going out there creating things connecting with people trying new things getting better at filmmaking like sharpening your skills learning new things just go out there and do something so that is all um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and consider subscribing uh, that would be really appreciated and if you want to keep in touch with me and kind of see the work that i'm doing day to day um, some stories behind the scenes stuff um, check out my instagram page it's at yuval a96 head over there send me a message um, let's talk a little bit let's connect um, it's at yuval a96 again um, but yeah that's all for this video and i'll see all of you in the next one